Sylvia, and I'm reciting music. I heard a song the other day that objectified women in every way. That doesn't narrow it down much, but it was pretty depraved. The feminists were probably still rolling in their graves. See, it reduced people to parts, objects to be acquired, turned hearts and minds into mere things to be desired. As parts of my body were zest in size, I thought, what a way to be dehumanized. These artists seem to be playing a game. How many times can you call us the wrong name? Because I'm not a dime. No, those come a dozen. I'm really not interested in all oh, your loving. I'm not your shorty, your hoe, your trig, your baby, lady, girl, or chick. Can someone tell me how this counts as music when you chant and you pant about windows and walls? Talk about a woman like she's a thing to be bought. She's got a big booty, so you call her big booty. If she had a big brain, would you call her at all? But it seems like I'm the only one appalled. That music can make me feel so small. You may think they're just words. They're still used with impunity. Words start wars and break spirits. They're still used with immunity. Just imagine a smart young girl walks into a club and finds herself surrounded by men acting like they have something to collect. She just listens to the words that tell her she's an object. Her objections catch in her throat as she gets treated with disrespect. She's caught in the middle and the lady doll protests too little. Their few words had made her brittle. Do you see where I'm going? It's not exactly a riddle. Can we turn up the volume but turn down the noise? Stop polluting the minds of our men and our boys with all the rude misogyny and bland homogeny of rhymes and beats so cruel and obsolete. Our ears are bleeding from all these cowards. The time is ours and we are ready for lyrics that make us feel empowered. I watched a video the other day. It was of my girl Beyonce. She was uh, droops and feathers and furs and things and exaggerated makeup and big chunky rings. She was dancing in the desert, hair whipping wild, and I couldn't help but think to myself, what does this look like to a child? To see a woman belt about her power while thrusting her hips to and fro. How does she know she can wear the pants in her house when her own idol doesn't wear them in a video? On so many levels, it makes me go ballistic that we have consented to be portrayed as animalistic. On one hand, you're exotic, fierce, do no wrong. On the other, you're a female dog in every song. I do not want to be serenaded to my individual parts unless we can talk about hearts. I mean, does anyone even know Beyonce's smart? If she were a boy just for a day, she wouldn't have to crawl on all fours to crawl up the charts. Or shed those fine furs for risky album covers. Does her husband have that problem? Apparently he's got 99 others. And it sounds dramatic. Maybe my skin should be tougher. But consider the history of women of color, not valued as wives, sisters, or mothers, but used by men as unwilling lovers. Wow. 200 years later, these women are deprived. Deprived. They're portrayed as sex craved and deprived at least. And just imagine the women covered in raw welts and tell me it's okay when women are just in animal pelts. Forgive me if I believe that music needs to be revived, but can we turn up the volume but turn down the noise? Stop polluting the minds of our men and our boys with all the rude misogyny and bland homogeny of rhymes and beats so cool and obsolete. Our ears are bleeding from all these cowards. The time is ours, and we are ready for lyrics that make us feel empowered.